Tiny Little Homestead. And we are coming to you today from Honeysuckle Farm. We're out in the garden and the raised bed garden behind us. And I think you can see my pretty little irises blooming. And we are gonna to talk to you today about building community. Building community. Friendship. It's what makes the world go round, you guys. That's Love right. is the answer to all things. Yep. And so um, we recently just started a homestead community group. And um, it's called Hickman County Homesteader Community, HC Squared. Super fun. Okay. And um, you want to tell them a little bit? HC. HC Squared. <laughs> you want to tell them a little bit about it? Well, basically, uh, I was kind of searching around looking for um, homestead groups to see, you know, if I could find something local and visit um, homesteads or farms to tour just to kind of get some more hands-on or learn from people that are already doing it and um, I, I didn't find anything and I was thinking you know we really need something in this area and and I think Tina was kind of thinking the same thing and one day I just called her and I was like hey you know I've been waiting for somebody else to do this uh, what do you say we just and my response to her was literally I've been waiting for somebody else to do this with <laughs> because I don't know if I can do it by myself yeah so we linked arms yeah. and we did it and um, we, we got started by, we made a flyer and we started posting the flyer and sharing it with all our friends and sharing it on Facebook. And I know there's a lot of, is Facebook good, is Facebook bad? You know what, I'm trying to build a community so I'm not getting into that argument. But um, we have 250 plus members on our Facebook group now and we're literally adding, I'd say Daily. probably, 20 25 a week yeah absolutely i mean absolutely. Um, and we have about 50 members who come to our week or not weekly our monthly meeting which we're very blessed to get to hold it really close to us mm -hmm. um yeah it's amazing how many people are hungry for what's going on and um people really just want to build that community that used to be there used to be such a strong community and and we feel like we just have a heart for um people and the homestead lifestyle and getting back to the land and um, being self-reliant yet not being self-reliant what uh -huh. do we call it interdependency interdependent we're first of all we're dependent on god amen and you know we can't we can't be an island we're not i can't sustain myself by myself and i we all need people at different times in our lives to come alongside of us and hold our hands and so that's kind of what we were to each other yeah, absolutely. and now we are getting to be that to a whole group of people and yeah. it's just um, phenomenal so one really important thing I think is to find a location that works for everybody in your group and yeah. so we're we're really blessed to get to um, have our meetings at the local place in Centerville yeah. which is um, it's owned by Conchetta West, mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Conchetta West, and she is phenomenal. She's a homesteader for years and years and years, way before me. Me too. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so um, she's literally done it all, seen it all, and experienced it all. And so we're grateful to have her as a resource. Um, and let's see, mm -hmm. it's good to um, be able to have everyone also come to her location because. <clears throat> it helps her business as well and also she works there and so she did mention you know hey if you didn't have it here I wouldn't be able to come so it really works hand in hand and it's another way I mean that's part of homesteading it's almost like a barter system you know it really uh -huh. builds her business and it builds our our community um, even stronger and so that's what that's the name of the game I think you know we just really have a passion and just pray that it's in line with God, what God wants us to do and um, bringing people together um, under the same umbrella and, you know, just building a family and a community together. Yeah, it, it's, it's been huge. We've seen so many people make connections together. Mm -hmm. I've made lots of connections. I know you've made lots of connections. Absolutely. We've seen other people make connections yeah. um, and they're growing and they're learning and it's just, it's been pretty awesome to be part of it and to watch it absolutely I want to encourage you if you do not have a group in your area um, start one get together with another friend or like we did or if you are um, bold enough to do it on your own hey more power to you um, but the more the merrier we need to um, definitely build alliances this way and and that's kind of what um, our group is also attached to um, homesteaders Alliance 
Um, we want to have allies uh, around our areas, um, around the outside areas. We really need to um, really link arms and come together and support each other. Um, you know, in times like these, that's what we need to do. No one else is going to support us, so we need to support each other. So, that's right. Say? So there's a um, Dixon Homestead Alliance. Mm -hmm. There's a Coffee County Homestead Alliance. Yep. I believe there's a Marshall oh. County. Maybe not. I might be wrong on that one. But um, if you are in any of those areas, we're in Hickman County, and you want to get connected to somebody, message either one of us, yep. comment below, and we will help you get connected to the people that are in charge of those groups. Mm -hmm. um, but we'd be happy, whether you're in Hickman County or not, you're welcome to come and attend our meetings. They are on the third Tuesday of every month at 5.30. We gather from 5.30 to 6 for just fellowship, and we all, uh, not I mean you don't have to, but we purchase coffee or baked goods or whatever from the coffee shop. And then um, we have our meeting normally from about 6 to 8. Uh, sometimes it finishes a little early, maybe a little bit later. That's the general range. Um, and so you're welcome to come check it out, see how it's run. You could do the same thing for the Dixon group or the, the Coffee County group, I'm sure. And then make your own, make your own group, build your own community and um, just reach out to people because that's what it's all about. And if you're just getting started in homesteading, I want to encourage you to reach out to other homesteaders in the area. I mean, go to your local coffee shop or just kind of um, see who's got go to the farmers market in your area and see um, if you can just come shadow them for a day or just you know get to get to know your neighbor um, that actually is doing the homesteading if you're very interested in it and if say you don't want to start your own group maybe they will say hey other people are doing this in, in different areas are you you know is there something going on here or is there something that you might be interested in starting or can we get together sometime and just you know, can I just bend your ear for a minute and um, and learn and, and soak it all in like a sponge? That would be a wonderful way to get, get a group started, a community started. And I don't know, farmer's market's a good way to, um, to meet people that are, are in that community. And they might already have like a group dinner that they do once a month or something like that. So that might be something that, um, that you can look into if you're just getting started. Another great thing to do would be um, you go to those farmer's markets and then connect with some of those farmers and ask them if they need help. If you want to learn how to do this, go volunteer to help them because I guarantee you they need an extra hand every once in a while and they would probably be happy to have you come along and, and help them. So that would be helping both of you, which would be a great thing to do. Yes, what a great blessing that would be. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, I don't think. No, no that's, that's pretty <laughs> awesome to have yeah, help. Yeah, that's a win-win for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's about it. Again, if you have any questions or you want to find out how to get started or um, you, you don't know anybody in your community, reach out. Give us a little um, comment in the comment sections below and we'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, maybe try to give you some other ideas or you know, if you need help on your homestead and we can help you um, via message, hey, we're happy to do that. That's right. And if you've started a group in your area, comment below and let us know how it's yeah, going and what yeah. you did. And any ideas or suggestions you have because we're only on our what third our first meeting was february so yep. february march april yeah. this will be our fourth meeting yeah. this month so Huge. it's may 16th if anybody's interested yeah. but yeah. we'd love to hear from you yeah absolutely so thank you so much thank you for watching we appreciate you and don't forget to like and subscribe and as ariella says ring that bell button wherever it may be and with that we'd like to sign off saying Dream big dreams for the tiny little things. And keep growing.